Bears HQ. The Fairy and the Lost Girl by Sam Mejias. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Lily who loved to explore the woods near her home. One day, she wandered too far and got lost. She tried to find her way back, but she only got more confused. She started to cry, feeling scared and alone. Oh, I wish I could go home. I don't know where I am. Is anyone there? Can anyone help me? Hello, little girl. Why are you crying? Who said that? It's me, the fairy. I live in this flower. I heard your cries and came to see what's wrong. A fairy? Wow! You are so beautiful and sparkly. But how can you talk? I can talk because I'm a fairy, silly. And you're very kind to say that I'm beautiful. Thank you. But tell me, why are you so sad? I'm sad because I'm lost. I don't know how to get back to my home. I've been walking for hours and I can't find a way. Oh, you poor thing. That must be very scary. But don't worry, I can help you. I know these woods very well. I can guide you to your home. Really? You can do that? Of course. I'm a fairy, remember? I have magic powers. I can fly and see things that others can't. I can also make things happen with a wave of my wand. See? Wow! That's amazing! You are so clever and powerful. Thank you, fairy. You're very kind to help me. You're welcome, Lily. You're very sweet and brave. Come on, let's go. Follow me. Okay, fairy, lead the way. And so, Lily and the fairy set off to find Lily's home. Along the way, they met many friends and foes and had many adventures. As they walked through the woods, they came across a big fat worm. Hello, fairy. Hello, little girl. Where are you going? Hello, worm. We're going to Lily's home. She's lost and I'm helping her. Lost? Hey, that's a pity. How did you get lost? I was exploring the woods and I went too far. I couldn't find a way back. I see. Well, you're lucky to have the fairy with you. She knows the woods better than anyone. She'll get you home in no time. That's right. I'm a fairy after all. I have magic powers. Magic powers, eh? That's very impressive. What can you do with your magic powers? I can do many things. I can fly and see things that others can't. I can also make things happen with a wave of my wand. Watch! Wow, that's amazing. You're very clever and powerful, fairy. Yes, she is. She's also very kind and helpful. I can see that. You're very lucky to have each other. You make a good team. Thank you, Worm. You're very nice and friendly. You're welcome, fairy. You're very polite and generous. And so, Lily, the fairy, and the worm chatted for a while and became good friends. Then, they said goodbye and continued their journey. As they walked through the woods, they came across a big bad wolf that was hiding behind a tree. Hello, fairy. Hello, little girl. What are you doing here? Hello, wolf. We're going to Lily's home. She's lost and I'm helping her. Lost? Hey, that's a shame. How did you get lost? I was exploring the woods and I went too far. I couldn't find a way back. I see. Well, you're unlucky to have the fairy with you. She doesn't know the woods at all. She'll get you more lost. That's not true. I'm a fairy, remember? I have magic powers. I can fly and see things that others can't. I can also make things happen with a wave of my wand. See? That's nothing. You're not clever or powerful fairy. You're just a nuisance. No, she's not. 
She's very kind and helpful. She's my friend. Friend A. That's a joke. She's not your friend. She's your enemy. She's leading you to a trap. What? No, I'm not. I'm leading her to her home. No, you're not. You're leading her to my home. And you know what I do to little girls who come to my home. I eat them. What? No, you can't. That's horrible. Oh, yes, I can. And I will. And you know what else? I'll eat the fairy too. No, you won't. You'll have to catch us first. Come on, Lily. Let's run. Okay, fairy. Let's go. And so Lily and the fairy ran away from the wolf, who chased them through the woods. But they were faster and smarter than him, and they managed to escape. As they walked through the woods, they came across a mischievous elf that was sitting on a rock. Hello, fairy. Hello, little girl. What are you doing here? Hello, elf. We're going to Lily's home. She's lost and I'm helping her. Lost, eh? That's fun. How did you get lost? I was exploring the woods and I went too far. I couldn't find a way back. I see. Well, you're lucky to have the fairy with you. She knows the woods very well. She'll get you home in no time. That's right. I'm a fairy after all. I have magic powers. I can fly and see things that others can't. I can also make things happen with a wave of my wand. See? Wow, that's amazing. You're very clever and powerful fairy. Yes, she is. She's also very kind and helpful. I can see that. You're very sweet and brave little girl. Thank you, Elf. You're very nice and friendly. You're welcome, Fairy. You're very polite and generous. But tell me, do you like surprises? Surprises? What kind of surprises? You'll see. Just follow me. I know a shortcut to your home. It's very fun and exciting. Come on, let's go. Okay, okay Elf. Let's, let's go. go. And so Lily the Fairy and the Elf followed the Elf's shortcut to Lily's home. Along the way they encountered many surprises, some good and some bad, and had many adventures. As they walked through the woods, they came across a nice witch that was stirring a cauldron. Hello, fairy. Hello, little girl. What are you doing here? Hello, witch. We're going to Lily's home. She's lost and I'm helping her. Lost, eh? That's unfortunate. How did you get lost? I was exploring the woods and I went too far. I couldn't find a way back. I see. Well, you're lucky to have the fairy with you. She knows the woods very well. She'll get you home in no time. That's right. I'm a fairy after all. I have magic powers. I can fly and see things that others can't. I can also make things happen with a wave of my wand. See? Well, that's amazing. You're very clever and powerful, fairy. Yes, she is. She's also very kind and helpful. I can see that. You're very sweet and brave, little girl. Thank you, witch. You're very nice and friendly. You're welcome, fairy. You're very polite and generous. But tell me, are you hungry? Hungry? Yes, we are. We've been walking for a long time, and we haven't eaten anything. Well then, why don't you join me for a snack? I have some delicious soup in my cauldron. It's made with fresh vegetables and herbs from my garden. It's very healthy and tasty. That sounds good. Can we have some, fairy? Well, I don't know. We don't have much time. We need to get to your home before it gets dark. Oh, come on. It won't take long. 
just a few minutes. You need to eat something to keep your strength up. Besides, it's rude to refuse a gift from a friend. Well, okay. Maybe just a little bit. Great! Come on, then. Sit down and make yourselves comfortable. I'll serve you some soup. And so, Lily and the fairy ate the soup that the witch gave them. But what they didn't know was that the soup was not ordinary soup. It was magic soup. And it had a very special effect on them. As they ate the soup, they started to feel very sleepy. Their eyes became heavy and their heads nodded. They fell asleep. Hey, it worked. The soup did its job. Now, they're fast asleep. And they won't wake up until I say so. The witch was not a nice witch at all. She was a wicked witch. She had tricked Lily and the fairy into eating her magic soup. She wanted to capture them and use them for her evil plans. Now, let's see. What shall I do with them? Hum, I know. I'll take the fairy's wand and use it to cast spells. I'll make myself more powerful and beautiful. And I'll take the little girl's hair and use it to make potions. I'll make myself more young and healthy. And then, I'll rule the woods and everyone in it. The witch was about to take the fairy's wand and the little girl's hair when she heard a loud noise outside. She looked out of the window and saw a group of people coming towards her house. They were Lily's family and friends. They had been looking for Lily ever since she went missing. They had followed her tracks and found her in the witch's house. Oh no! What's this? Who are these people? They're ruining my plans. I have to stop them. The witch flew out of the window and tried to scare away the people. She threw fireballs and lightning bolts at them. She shouted curses and threats at them. But the people were not afraid. They had sticks and stones and slingshots. They fought back against the witch. They threw rocks and branches and nuts at her. They shouted words of courage and hope at her. Ouch! Oh! Stop it! Leave me alone! You can't do this to me! I'm a witch! I have magic powers! We don't care! You're a bad witch! You have evil powers! You kidnapped our Lily! You harmed our fairy! You'll pay for what you did! The people and the witch battled for a while, until the witch was finally defeated. She fell to the ground, bruised and battered. She dropped her broomstick and her cauldron. She lost her magic and her power. No! No! This can't be! How did this happen? How did you beat me? We beat you because we love Lily. We love the fairy. We love each other. We have something that you don't have. We have friendship and family. We have goodness and strength. We have magic in our hearts. The people then ran to the witch's house and found Lily and the fairy sleeping inside. They woke them up with a kiss and a hug. They told them what had happened and how they had saved them. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You're my heroes. You're my family. You're my friends. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You're my saviors. You're my allies. You're my friends. You're welcome. You're welcome so much. You're our Lily. You're our fairy. You're our friends. And so, Lily and the fairy were reunited with their family and friends. They thanked them for their help and their love. They said goodbye to the witch and her house. They left the woods and went back to their home. They lived happily ever after. <laughs>